Greetings, my name is Diogo Duarte from ERP Gap, and in this video we are going to talk about cost of manufacturing. We are going to learn on how to calculate costs of manufacturing using UDU. So uh, let's get started. The first thing we need to understand <coughs> and to clear this out of the way because we get lots of uh, questions asking if UDU can calculate the sales price. And now uh, what UDU can do is calculate the cost. So sale price is something that <coughs> you need to uh, maybe uh, scout the market and understand what are the costs of competitors per product and how does your product range in the quality that the market offers. And, and so <coughs> maybe this way you can understand what's the sale price for your, for your products. What you can do is to set up UDU in a way that you can know the cost of manufacturing because yes, now that's that's the the law of the market, right? The margin is equal to the sale price minus cost. Meaning you cannot control sale price, but you can control the cost to a certain degree, of course. So with this out of the way, um, every company, manufacturing company has uh, an expense structure while you have cost of goods sold, your operating expenses, capital expenses, financing costs and taxes, right? So we are just going to focus on the first one, which is really the cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold is usually the sum of the raw materials plus the direct labor and manufacturing overheads like uh, um, energy, uh, equipment, uh, um, depreciation and maintenance and so that sums up into the cost of goods sold. Uh, now for you to understand uh, what costs you have in the production you need to break it down per work center. So you need to find a way of splitting direct labor, energy and equipment per work center for example that could be other expenses I'm not listing here. This is just an example. But for example, direct labor would do uh, records every time somebody starts and stop a, a work order. So that can give you an idea of how many hours that person is, is going to work in each uh, by month directly on the production in each work center. Uh, energy, you could like calculate the average uh, expectable by using the power of each machine and trying to get an estimate of how much time they are connected and and then do like uh, um, a breakdown for example if you have three work centers one could be 20 percent and the other two 40 percent so now if you get a, big, a bigger bill you can split it using this um, ratio and then uh, equipment I think it's easier because you know the cost of the equipment when you purchased it uh, you know the, the lifetime of the equipment uh, at least the expectable and so uh, accounting also gives you that and and then the consumables they are directly assigned so you just you just need to create one account pair uh, uh, you can use analytic account like I'm going to explain uh, one analytic account per each equipment and then do will help you to to get this calculation so at the end yeah so you have something like this so you have milling upholstery assembly turning work centers and then your expenses they need to be split per each of these boxes so and well let's see in Udo how you can do this so uh, in Udo you can use um, uh, the manufacturing configuration version 7 uh, 17 sorry it has this nice feature which is the analytic distribution so you can set an analytic account and so every time you start and stop it's going to calculate the time spent during the, that operation and it's going to calculate using the cost per work center of course this is an estimate you need to fine-tune the estimate and um, this could be done on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, depending on what are your goals and how, how accurate you need to be here. But at the end, 
uh, at the end of the year, for example, you would al always be able to compare with the real costs from the accounting. And that's how you should do it. Of course, if you want to do it this in a different version than 17, it's also possible using uh, general ledger, but well, of course, analytic uh, makes it much easier. So what I'd done was first I went to accounting, configuration, then I created some analytic accounts, should be one per work center. This is just an example, right? So let's focus on this one. I have assembly work center, for example, I already have a gross margin of minus 280 and that is all in January. So previous work orders I've done here and this is on purpose because now we are in February. So we'll see the numbers coming up there. And now if I, as an example, I just go into manufacturing and I'll show you I have a I have prepared a very simple bill of material here for an egg, for an omelet. So it's just using four eggs per each omelet. It's going to use the assembly work center. This assembly work center has a cost of $33 um, dollars per hour. And so now we will just uh, go into the manufacturing orders. We'll create a new one. I'll just use the omelet here. Let's say we are going to produce 10 omelets and I'll confirm, then I'll uh, start and uh, market is done. So it would be expected, uh, this is the default setting, it's not correct. Of course, um, that it, you can change it on the, on the operation type. So if you go into the building, in the bill of materials, you can go into uh, each operation here. And you can set manually the duration or compute based on track time. And, and there's lots of other options. I'm just focusing on cost, right? But going back to our manufacturing order, so we'll see, uh, I can say, well, 10 minutes, each omelet will be uh, 100 minutes instead of 600. Maybe that's too much, right? And so now I'll, I'll it's not close. No, no, produce all. Yep. And now I'll get an overview. This is a very nice overview that version 17 has. Other versions, they also have something that is not so nice as this one. So immediately you see total cost of components. Yeah, so 10 omelets, four eggs. Each egg costs $1, so you have $40. And so cost of component per unit per omelet, four. And then total cost of operations, 54.98, right? So uh, per unit 5.5. So if now I just go and open another window here and I'll go into accounting and analytic accounts and go into the assembly. This one was set on the work center. Now we see we have a different gross margin here. And this is because it record that $55 negative, right? for this one. So this is exactly rounded number um, of the 5498, right? Because it will handle things with roundings, of course. So this is um, now something you can know. You can also know how much time was spent in each work center. So Udo has already some nice reporting, maybe here. So if you go into the BI view, uh, I'll say duration in minutes. Yeah, so I'll take this out here. And I'll say, yeah, assembly. I can just assembly on the word center. I just get this one. And I can even say group by, I'll be able to create it now production date. Yeah. So I see February there. And yeah, so I can drill down as much as I need. So even if I need to go per manufacturing order. So here we have, uh, I think it was 11, right? So it was 100 minutes. So you can know per month, for example, if you want to know how many hours you took 
uh, your work center was working uh, in total, right? So now comes to uh, these Excel sheets that Udo uses for dashboards. So you can do something like this. This is just bogus data, but I'll explain. And, and really it's not that difficult to set this up because of course, uh, being a developer, I just created a function that is going to collect the value in the analytic account. Uh, and that's not a big deal. It's something very easy to do. Um, but you could do one for analytic uh, account to get the value in the analytic account. You could also do another one to get the total hours. Or you can just export the reports into an Excel sheet and do your math, right? So there are de uh, very, um, several different ways of doing things. But here, what I've done was I set uh, till January, and then this one, uh, it's 280. And this one, let's put here how much? March. So we have our 55 there. See, you, so this one less the other, the previous one. So this is going to take b19 which is the number of the analytic account and the number one is for the company so this is something i created anyway the final goal and you see this is something easy to set up if you use uh, you use some formula like this one or you can even use the expenses uh, that Udo has but you will need to have different production locations uh, and you can set a different gl account for each production location so there are different ways of doing this. I use the analytic account because I thought it would be uh, easier. And yeah, so look, looking into this Excel sheet, what I've done here was these are the work centers, right? Each one has one code. And so I start placing here the cost for last year, then cost for January, February, right? Then total allocated. This is an estimated cost. This is not real, but we have to keep that in mind so we have 25,000 here so the assembly for example is eight thousand dollars right and so dividing this by the number of hours we would get the cost per hour so it's 34 not 33 remember we used 33 right so this is an estimation um, but if I want to uh, go and check the real values because I would split every expense on these analytic accounts or using some GL account and I would get labor in one place, energy in the other, equipment in the other. And so now I would have the total of the real cost for assembly, which I could follow up. So it was 7,265. Uh, versus 8,591. That means uh, the real cost is lower 50% than the one that I have. Okay, with this, I could calculate my new cost, which is $28, and I could go into the work center and set it up for $28, uh, $28 right? This way, I can maintain my um, estimated cost as accurate as possible and then of course at the end of the year I'll be able to see how much have I allocated to each work center and how much total expense I have on my shop floor and then I just need to do an entry to offset this difference right so that's how do is supposed to uh, work uh, and to calculate the cost of manufacturing of course, other than this, is also going to put the cost of raw materials. It's going to use the cost of raw materials. So for example, uh, I think this is the 11th. Uh, if I take the, out the ones to do, I'll order. Yeah, this was the one, 11. So I will just copy this number. And now if I go into accounting, you can also see this. If you go into journal items and you filter, by this number on the label. Okay, now you see it has the 94.99, which is the omelet that was produced from stock. 
of some cost of production to stock valuation and then the raw materials that were spent uh, from cost of production from stock evaluation to cost of production meaning that the balance of this cost of production account it's going to be uh, the offset of the cost of production of the mm, of the of the work centers that was allocated to which uh, to which operation so you could really um, now offset this with the correct cost right and so this is how Udo works of course uh, you need to have some work like setting things correctly in order that your accounting department knows how to split the costs and train everybody on how to use the system um, but I think this is a, a very nice way of doing things uh, especially because if you have your work centers for example uh, you could very easily understand by the cost of production of each work center how much it would cost for you for example to outsource some part of the production uh, if you keep things in a way that are similar with the outside market that is going to level up uh, your costs in terms of what what is the real cost of outsourcing for something for example so it, it, it always gives you that insight of if you're doing things right or not and also well it doesn't matter really because if internally your cost is higher but you have the advantage for example of always having availability for your production um, would make sense to outsource right but this is just going to give you more information about how your process is is being done and and how you or maybe if you need to do something to control the costs and that's all for now thank you for listening and see you next video bye bye